Well, I'm here at the Family History Expo in St. George, Utah, and it's been a busy expo, lots of people milling around here, and I'm sitting right across from the Roots Magic website um, booth, and keep wanting to grab Bruce Busby and get a chance to talk about the new Roots Magic 4, and he's been busy, but I got him. Yep. Welcome to the show. Thanks. <laughs> Bruce, I know you have been working diligently on Roots Magic 4, and I know you've been very excited about it, so we want to be the first to hear what are we going to look forward to in the new innovations in this product. Okay, yeah, we've, we've been actually working on Roots Magic 4 for three and a half years now. Wow. Uh, this is a total rewrite, so after version 3, instead of just tacking more features on, we went back and completely started from scratch with this one. Um, one of our main goals in, our, in software, when we're writing our, our software, is to make it easy to use. And so that was, that was kind of our prime focus, is to add more ease of use features. And so we do have a lot of those. But we also added a lot of, a lot of high end and uh, very, very powerful features. We've added uh, what we call shared events. Um, some programs call those witnesses, but what that lets you do is create an event for a person, but other people can share that. So if you add a oh. census event to a person, to the father, instead of having to go and add that as a separate event to each, the mom and all the kids, you can actually just say all of these people share that event. I was just doing that the other day with a family with six kids, and I'm so careful to go back in and make it an event for everybody. That would right. be an amazing time saver. Right, right. And the thing that's really nice is if you have to change something, if you have to add another source or something, right. You just change it for that one event and it automatically is changed for everybody. I love it already. <laughs> I'm very yeah, excited. We've, we've, also, we've also added Unicode support so for those people who have Eastern European or Asian ancestry. They can now enter the characters uh, from those languages really? in there as well. Okay. And, and we've completely overhauled our source handling. Um, in Roots Magic 3, we had the ability to add sources based on Elizabeth Schoen Mill's evidence uh, mm -hmm. book. Uh, in version 4, we now support not only evidence, but we also support evidence explained, which is the big one. Right. Uh, we also support the quick sheet, and we also support lackeys cite your sources. Okay. And what's really nice is we can also let you create your own source templates. So you're not limited to the source templates that we built in. Okay. Um, so you do have support for those, but you can also go in and, and create your own source template if there's a source type that you would like to use that's not in our, in our list. You don't have to wait for us to get around to putting it in. You can go in and create your own source template. Yeah, I'm thinking about, I remember one time my grandmother had taken a doily off the plate and uh, you know off the table, mm -hmm. and she'd written something very important on the back and I always wanted to keep that doily because that was one of the first things that Shaver wrote down about the family history you know how do you source a doily right and, yeah and, and that, so I mean there are times where we have our customized and, and that's one we don't actually have in our you we don't, don't have, have doily okay. yeah we don't have that one I so can create my own that's one you'd have to create on your own <laughs> um, so so those are just a few of the things uh, we also have now the ability to run Roots Magic on a flash drive not just really? the, not just the data but you can actually put the program the itself program? We have a little program that comes with Roots Magic called Roots Magic To Go, which will let you install Roots Magic on your flash drive, and then it will let you sync the databases between your hard drive and the flash drive. So you can bring it up, and it will say, these, these databases are on your hard drive, which ones would you like to add to your flash drive, and you select them and it moves them over. And then when you take your flash drive off to the library or whatever and work with your data, when you come back and you put that in, uh, you run Roots Magic to go, and it shows you how you can sync those back up. So, and it runs completely off the flash drive. You don't have to. The, the computer you put that into doesn't have to have Roots Magic or anything. It just runs totally off that flash drive. See, so you don't always have to bring your laptop. You're right. going to your cousin's house, and right. you could just plug that in, and you're yep. working. You know, and these guys are not kidding because I've been watching the booth, and you guys carry around these laptops, mm -hmm. and, and you go around the front, and, and, and you're playing it like a violin. You know, <laughs> showing the tree and showing people yep. how it works, and it's just so mobile. And I think about sometimes that's how we are. We're, right. we're out in the middle of a cemetery, or we're at somebody's house, mm -hmm. and we couldn't grab the whole computer bag, but we could take that flash drive. Right, you can take that flash so drive. You really made us any place, any place you know that there's going to be a computer available, you'll have your database and everything with you right there. Wow, well, I can kind of see why it was a complete rewrite because yeah. I'm just yep. blown away at how much you've added. Yeah. But it's apparent to me that you are as much a user of it as you are right. a developer of it because right. you, you talk like a user. When we when we're using something and, and you, you think, oh, I wish it did this, I wish it did that. 
And that's the beauty is that you are the developer, so right. you're seeing that firsthand. Yeah, a lot, I mean, some of the features that we've put into version four, well, that we put into any version, are features that I want. And yeah. some of the features <laughs> that we put in are features that some of the other programmers want. Um, you know, so that it, it, we do a lot based on what users ask for, but, you know, we're, we're the programmers, so sometimes we get to put in our own little pet feature. And Okay, so what's yeah. your wish item for the next version? What, if you could do For the anything. next version? <laughs> oh, we know it's like, don't give away uh, features for the next version. Okay. Basically, we will, there's a lot of features that we want and that we're going to actually be getting into version 4. Uh, we're, we're releasing version 4.0. But 4.1, 4.2, and so on, there's a lot of features that in order to get version 4.0 out, we had to kind of pull out for just a little bit. And so as we wrap those up, we'll be putting those in. So those will actually be free upgrade features uh, for version 4 users. Right. We don't have to worry about getting it now because we right. know that you can just download those from the website. Right. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yep. Okay. So let's finish up with the website so we can find Roots Magic. <laughs> yeah. Rootsmagic.com? Rootsmagic.com. Great. And list off real quick, you've got some other terrific products there too. Yeah. We've also got uh, Personal Historian. Right. Uh, that's a program that helps you write that personal history either about yourself or one of your ancestors. Um, it, it gives you a lot of ideas about topics that you might want to write about, helps you organize those topics, and then be able to print your, your personal uh, family history book. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have Family Atlas, and that happens to be uh, a mapping program that will import data from your genealogy software. It'll import GEDCOM files, but it'll import other, other genealogy program files as well, and let you plot the events in the people's lives on a map, on a world-based map. You can rotate this globe, and you can zoom in and out. Um, you can actually plot uh, where various types of events happened. Uh, you can, you know, we have a time slider so that you can actually see just the events that happened in a particular place within a particular period of time. So you can do it geographically, you can do it based on time. Uh, so that's, and, and then create your own custom maps. Uh, you can add pictures, you can add, um, you know, text and boxes and whatever, and create your own custom maps, save them as graphics files to it's use in reports. It's such a powerful tool because yeah. particularly those of us that are very visual, right. uh, you know, to see it. And you really right. get the big picture, don't you? Yeah. And it's yeah. And it's nice because you can do things like say, show me all the events from that, my database that happened within 50 miles of this location. So, oh, not, so wow. it's not just the mapping information, but it's also being able to get lists yeah, based on geographical um, geographical constraints. So, like, my wife had some family in Dearborn, Michigan, mm -hmm. and we um, we looked in Michigan. You know, we looked in Wayne County. We looked in Michigan. But we didn't realize until we actually used this feature that Dearborn, Michigan is just across the river from Canada. You know, yeah. it was like, it's a totally different country. But you don't right. think of those kind of things when you're just looking at the name of the place. It's not until you see it in geographical context that I, there might be more information there in Canada there than there was in the United States. And I imagine, too, as you're seeing the events, you start to realize while the house is here, the activity radiates mm -hmm. a little bit further out and mm -hmm. touches other family lines. Yeah. All fascinating stuff. Mm -hmm. Bruce, thank you so much for joining us, for getting us excited about Roots 4. Again, you can go to rootsmagic.com mm -hmm. and uh, we'll stay in touch and okay. find out about those new versions too. Okay, okay. thank you. Thanks. Right.